Good evening, Possibility War fans. It is October 23rd, 2022. It is 21 days since our last game. Yes, I am going through withdrawals. I have the shakes because we haven't role-played in such a while. Okay, uh, so after three weeks, we've got a few things that we're going to run through tonight. Um, the reasons that we've been gone for three weeks now is, uh, you know, real life happens, and sometimes it, it goes for an extended period of time. Uh, fortunately, um, hard times pass. Uh, it's going to take us a little bit to to go back over what we have, you know, what we did in the last game session. We are getting back into Act Two, Conwa Calling. We started scene for escape. Okay, so the last time that we were together was three weeks ago. Twenty-one days exactly. What? Ooh, dang. Yeah, I know, right? I'm going through withdrawals. I'm shaking. I need to get some role playing done uh, before I become a lunatic and start howling. Um, so what, let's find out what you all remember from three weeks ago, and I'm going to start with Remy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I don't remember too, too much. Um, the last thing I visibly remember or audibly remember was Anton and Artorius were climbing up a very, very long ladder. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And are trying to move this uh, manhole metal cover. plate, this manhole cover that's above them, mm -hmm. and they're having a little bit of trouble doing so. Okay. Uh, Honestly, not that's all I remember. <laughs> that will actually help out Rios here in a minute. Uh, it, like Remy was saying, uh, uh, just a really, really high ladder. Um, it's basically a manhole. Uh, and there's a solid iron manhole cover that both of them are trying to lift at the same time. And anybody that's ever lifted a manhole cover before knows that it ain't no joke. It can be done, it's just really hard to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Catherine, what do you remember? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Pretty you, much the same. You, you weren't huh? here three weeks ago, were you? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think that might not have Bruce been. with the car trouble. Well, well she, he was talking about uh, uh, the, her uh, uh, getting servant or whatever. Uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, for Andon. Um, so, yeah, let, let me touch on that for you real quick. Um, uh, Artorius and Andon found kind of a long-haul corridor, uh, a carved-out corridor that ended in kind of a ladder going up okay uh, and it's a straight up ladder um, and they were climbing 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 through several rounds because they're way underground uh, at, at the point that they were at probably about 70 feet underground uh, enough so that they had to make a strength check to be able to keep going without slipping actually it was two that's right two strength checks and now they're trying to lift a manhole cover so that's where Andon and and uh, Artorius are for the moment um, Ginger yeah what do you remember uh, we had tripped an alarm there is a countdown going on I am telling Andon and um, uh, Artorius who's Artorius to get as far away as possible and and run 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 meanwhile I'm uh, telling Chris Cross and Nightbird that there are ninjas. Get out. And uh, the ninjas popped up and started to try to uh, take over my booth. I was about to face off with one. Yes, that's meanwhile, all of that is true. But they were already meanwhile, engaged before you were. <laughs> yeah. And meanwhile, the uh, the countdown is tick-tocking away. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know exactly how much time we have left, but it's time to get the heck out of Dodge. That was it, except for the fact we were debating at the end whether or not I was going to play my uh, mutant card. Yes. My, uh, and uh, that, it, let me let me call that up. Give me a minute. Actually, I don't think you had the, the mutation card. I think you had a Cosm card. Uh, um, well, I don't remember the name of it. So it might have been mutation because I know... No. 
It, it, Chris had the mutation one. Mine just had the outbreak. That's Outbr right. Okay, that's right. Um, Where I flew the card at any time, a rampaging horde of infectable, uh, infected people appear and are headed your way. All Star Knights gain one to three possibilities after they deal with the creatures depending on the size of the word. Uh, in, in this particular instance, it's also going to depend on what you guys do and how. Because to be perfectly honest with you, a lot of, if, if you do end up getting chased by zombies, you may actually make it out of the building uh, before the bomb goes off and before the zombies can make it out. Now, if the bomb in the building activated from Tokyo uh uh, brings the building down and crushes all the zombies, uh, then you'll probably only get one each. Okay? Um, but if you have to, if you're really kind of cursed with them and you have some real problems, then uh, uh, then we'll, we'll have to deal with it. Because there will be 1d6 zombies up here on, on the floor that you guys see for uh, Conwell Office Block. There would be 1d6 zombies for Ginger, 1d6 zombies for Rios, um, because they would get outside the building, um, and I think that's pretty much it. I, I would have to, to get them out and uh, have them posted, but um, uh, we're going to get back to the cards and everything in just a minute. Uh, I want to hear what Chris remembers. Okay, so I, uh, me, and Nightbird were off again, facing to get off against some ninjas. I started a fire, uh -huh. uh, and right, and uh, Nightbird and I am currently fighting against this robot over there, uh -huh. uh, waiting for the uh, download to finish. Hopefully it's about done. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to have to bug out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that it? Uh... <laughs> I mean, but... Others... Well, I also found out about the samurai coming in on those hover craft. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Uh, I'll have to share that guy information with you guys before the the act ends. Uh, I couldn't get into two locations mm -hmm. in that uh, server area, so that's what I'm downloading. Okay. I'll give it a crack at it at a later time. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Um, but that reminds me, I will have to look up all of the information you were able to get. Uh, I've got my paperwork right here, right in front of me, believe it or not. All of my notes are here. <laughs> um... Uh, mm -hmm. Anybody want to celebrate the fact that I'm actually ready to go? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's kind of back up a little bit. Uh, is the download complete? Um, you don't know, but you do recall that it wasn't going to take a terrible long amount of time before it was. Uh, but you're going to have to run back to the room, okay? Uh, let's see, does that do what I think it's going to do? Uh, shift. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's neat. Okay, well, anyway, um, you would have to run back into the room at your normal speed. Um, and if you want to run through the door here, you would have to make a dice roll. Okay, a, a dex check. It'll be a kind of a simple one, but uh, running through is not a good idea. Walking through is no, no question. Uh, but then you'd have to get, I don't think you can see this because you're beyond the wall, but you would have to get back to your computer terminal to be able to get that. And, and yeah. Ginger's, t or Peaches, and the ninja that she is against downstairs are, are, are not in your way. They're not technically on your floor. So, right, right. okay, so there's that. The second issue that we've got to deal with is are you guys going to run or attempt to disarm the bomb? I mean, you don't even know where the bomb is. You haven't even tried. Let's see, what were the... I don't know how well hidden it could be 
deep underground. Actually, I mean, do we want to try? Actually, if you wanted to try, I do have a DSR for this, and and this is scene four, by the way. So, uh, I think we closed out scene four, uh, scene three last time, right? Can't Every remember at the moment. If everybody has four cards in their hand, you finished out. Um, you finished out scene three. Yeah, I, I want to say we did. Uh, yeah, we were doing cards at the end there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we were. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Nightbird is ready to go. And uh, so, yeah. Okay, so then we are, we are in scene four. I'm going to read the narrative again for scene four in just a minute. Uh, so that you guys can kind of, of remember some, some things that are going on. Um... And then the third thing that we'll deal with in just a minute is for Peaches and Chris throwing down Cosm cards or not for zombies. I listened to the last 45 minutes of our last session today, so I've got these notes down. Um, uh, and Yes? I don't have a Cosm card. You don't have Zora a Cosm? Did you play it? Not uh, that no, I recall. Uh, I played it. Uh, because it gave all of the bad guys two, um, two shock. Oh, hell yeah. All That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you get a new Cosm card at the beginning of a scene, or do you have to wait for the act? Hang on. Let me, let me look that up. You might get a new Cosm card. I'm not sure. Uh, hold on. Cosm cards, 113. I just want to make sure each player receives a Cosm card at the beginning of each act. Okay. Uh, it must be discard. Okay. Cosm cards are not. Okay. So you will not not get a new Cosm card until the beginning of the next act, which hopefully will come up tonight. Um, and then we'll actually try and play through it next week. But I, you guys, I, I need you to understand something for next week. Bring your thinking caps. Oh, joy. <laughs> yes, I, I You're want you... are telling us to plot and plan... It. You, you've met us, right? Y y <laughs> well, yes, I've, I've met you. You're really going to need some help with this. Oh, no. Okay? Um, it's... Uh, it, normally, it would be considered a straightforward situation, um, except for the one hint that I'm going to give you. Numbers. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> now. Yeah, somebody write that down somewhere. <laughs> you write it down somewhere. Um, let's down see. Oh, math. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I, I'm going to read the narrative uh, from the beginning of scene four from last week uh, or three weeks ago so that all of you are kind of caught back up. The monitors have all begun to flash bright red several times with the Kanawa symbol in the middle, a white crossed circle over the symbol, but then the screen clears of the symbols and huge numbers counting down from 50 and the words evacuate now above and below that number in small letters. To accompany the numbers, every 15 seconds of the countdown, a calm female voice announces, first in Japanese, then in English, site destruction imminent. Please move to a minimum safe distance for your safety. As you look around, panels begin to push out from the walls. Each panel is a one-foot square with smaller black boxes. This is some of the stuff you guys didn't get last week because uh, we were trying to get uh, uh, too far ahead of ourselves. Each is roughly nine inches square. Each of the boxes has, on each visible side, small green and red arrows. The red arrows point deeper into the building, while the green ones point toward elevators and doors out. Okay, so... Follow the green signs, people. Get out. Yep. Green is out. Red is probably towards the bomb. Okay. Now, let me kind of go over something real quick. And I think that, uh, I think that you'll enjoy my reasoning on this. What about if, if a bomb goes off and levels this building and it is set off by evil people in Pan Pacifica working for Conwell Corporation, 
what is going to happen to the buildings in the rest of Cherry Blossom Research Park? Might get hurt. Could be. Yeah. So you guys are the Storm Knights. You're the heroes. But you have to decide how you want to let this play. Because like, uh, like Connor said, it could hurt people. We want that on our conscious? That's well, well that's what I'm saying. <laughs> could goes two ways. Could means yes and could means no. Okay. Uh, well, since we have a character outside, do we know if it's being broadcasted like to the whole area? Um like, going outside of the building? Well, that's that's a good question. Rios, were you on the phone? Or were you just standing uh, with the guys by the car? I was just standing with the guys by the car, to be honest. <laughs> in, in that case, um, unless somebody wants to take, you know, 30 seconds uh, um, to dial you up and ask you a question, you're you're not really going to know for certain. But I'm asking, uh, she would as a character hear it, it or not, which... Hmm. Because then he could call. Okay. I mean, she's not a, well, of course not. She's doing the ruse, so we wouldn't want to interrupt her while she's right. being sneaky. Well, yeah, um, I'm not going to call her, um, but, but I'm highly motivated to try to get her and everyone else out. Okay. Um, That's just my nature to rescue people, including the bad guys. Okay. Uh, hang on just a moment. All right. Catherine, I just sent you a message, a DM. All right. Okay. So, um, in that case, uh, oh, okay, so, uh, okay, I've read you the narrative again to let you know what's going on. Red arrows, bad. Green arrows, good. Um, if you want to go towards the good and get yourselves out, that's fine. If you want to go towards the red arrows, and each of you can make your own decision. Now, uh, of course, Peaches, who, mm -hmm. who all are you on the phone with? I think you're just on the phone with, uh, well, you're well, probably not on the phone with anybody. You're fighting a ninja. Well, yeah. Um, I, I did leave it on a speakerphone, I guess. I'm not trying to be sneaky. Um, okay. So, um, hmm. I, I'm hoping everybody can hear me say, time to get out, boys and girls. Out, out now. Okay. Oh, dear. You know, uh, that I wouldn't be so politic as to be saying, oh, dear, I'm probably oh. swearing a week in Spanish. Yes, yes, yes you probably are. He's got a very potty mouth in Spanish. Okay, then in that case, Ginger, odds or evens? Odd. I'm odd person in general. Okay, that's an even. So your your phone is not on when everybody says that yeah. or when you when you say that. Ah, dang it. Yeah, right. somehow the ninjas managed to disconnect your phone. Dang it. Or I dropped it in the kerfuffle. Or you could have dropped it in the kerfuffle and it disconnected. Um, so that means that um, Artorius and Andon are no longer are able to hear as well. Yeah. I'm in the dark. Yep. So now we're all, all three of us are all separated. Yep. Okay. Yay. So with all of that being read... Okay, before we get into our next, um, let me go ahead and detach that. There we go. Before we go and get into our next round, um, uh, yes, I know what I'm saying. What would you guys like to do with those cards? Do you want to launch those cards? Do you want a few minutes to discuss it? Or, or no? discuss what uh do you want to play your cosm cards you and uh you and and connor uh, i actually decided against it myself uh i i i think that would only hinder us at this point okay yeah, and i can't play mine unless she plays hers okay well you could but uh it's probably not a good idea uh mm. no uh, one infected mutates is what my so there already has to be one there oh yeah that's right Okay. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't mean that one of those ninjas isn't infected and they just don't know it. Good point. Mm -hmm. 
true. Okay, so uh, I'm going to kind of start at the top. Uh, Chris and Nightbird have uh, some things to deal with here. Um, so I'm going to start with you, Chris. Uh, what would you like to do? Mm, uh, well, first off, let's. I'm going to try to destroy that uh, robot. Okay. Or does Nightbird have it? Because uh, you're currently controlling him. Uh, uh, not really. Um, uh, Nightbird has been able to to put quite a bit of uh, of nastiness on it, um, but you're not sure how much longer it's going to go. It, uh, let's put it this way. Let me see if I can describe this best. There are sparks shooting out of all kinds of rins in its armor. Uh, and its head, which kind of sits on a swivel, is jiggling really badly. And it looks like uh, one of its tracks is getting ready to come loose. Hmm. So, yeah, it's on its last legs, but... Har har. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's not... Uh, that was what I remember last time. Nightbird was not having an easy time with this thing. No. So you're not sure whether Nightbird has the KR-75 in hand or not, but do you really have much of a choice if you're going to get back to grab that uh, that uh, uh, stick? No, not really. I, I'll blast it with fire. Okay. Target. Now, wait a minute. Uh, how many steps have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, in order to get back to that desk in the same round, you're going to have to run. Do you do you want? And that's going to have to count in in this hit that you want to make. Okay? okay, that would be a plus two penalty. Well, I have the expressway out. <laughs> Windows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And the ability to somewhat fly. So, I'm, I'm fairly confident I could just take the extra round and uh, reach the desk and properly uh, handle the computer. Okay, so okay, so you're not going to run this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want to make an attack, go ahead and make an attack. And okay. you said telekinesis. Pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis. I know I've used telekinesis on so many attacks. Well, either or kind of makes sense, but you're not yeah, sure I how heavy I the could, tank is. Or you know, it's like, or I could just try to rip it up like tissue paper, but I'm just going to go for fire. Okay, so let's see. It has a it, toughness of 17. It, okay. No penalties, penalties to me, right? Or bonuses? Um, let's see. Let me, let me pop you open. And the range on that is what, 25? Yep. Um, hmm. I'm going to do something... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it could reflect back on Nightbird. Okay, go ahead and, and make your roll. No bonuses, no penalties. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, sure. so 18. Okay, that's uh, versus the target's Dodger decks. Your action total is 21 versus their 12. So that's not that's a difference of nine. So you get one bonus dice. Okay. Unless of course you have something you want to add to that. Two shock. Two shock. Yay! Uh, hold on, hold on. What have you got? Oh, you've just, you've got a drama card. Uh. Uh, none. Oh wait, yeah. I don't know. Roll, but. You know, I changed all of those to their proper... 
uh, uh, to the private I, channels. It's like it has a two shock. I mean, one shock left from if I'm reading the counter right. So. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's all you want to do is that. Yep, yeah, and I'm and I'm off. Like if it's not dead, uh, oh, it the game's paused. Oh, oops, sorry. Oh, uh, let me close this window. Now there we go. Okay, one, so. Two. Yes. Oh, let me go ahead. That one is what? Is that that KR-75? Yes, it is. So, okay. So, yeah, you've got three left that you can do on the next round. Now, um, let's see. Okay, Nightbird. Uh, what is her dex? Ten. Okay. Nightbird starts making her way back towards you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, wait a minute, does she see the ninja there? Yeah, she sees that ninja there. The question is, oh, um, that's another thing Remember I've got before to. Remember, I got uh, before I got barged in on. I did light up all the one, all the uh, approaching ninjas, so that uh, Nightbird could see them. Uh, well, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, all of the lights are on, so why is my vision still... Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. okay. So, I need to... I, if, if I were Ross, I would be making a roll to determine which one I want to do. Get out of the building or go after the ninja. So, I'm going to go with odds. Okay, it's even. So... That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, come on. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to have Nightbird wait right there just in case any of these guys decide to come in. Um, let's see. These ninjas have a dex of ten. So. And since the lights are on, let's go ahead and turn that light on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That ninja is in the room. And let's see, do I have to adjust this one? Nope. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. So these guys are trying to close in on you. Um, okay, I'm going to move Peaches and... Oh, and she's got full vision. Oh, come on. Out into the hallway. So you're, you're not going to release the hounds, huh? That's fun. That would have been fun. Okay, so that's those two... No problem. Those two, okay. So these three can basically be together. All right. So this ninja was just walking. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, it's the hero's turn, and it's it's dramatic. Oh, it's the villain's turn because it's dramatic. But heroes have flurry. Oh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> so you guys have a flurry round. Um, <laughs> but that means I get to, I get to, uh, attack. Okay, I'm going to attack with both of these ninjas, one through the door, one inside the door. Uh, let's see. Let's see which ninja. That's that ninja. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have him do a throwing star at, uh, let's see, electric katana and throwing stars. All right, let's see. Oh, how about if I... Oh, that's interesting. Do you guys see that? See what? The four green arrows around uh, Nightbird? Uh, no, no, but you targeted him, yes? Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, that was the same for me when I targeted uh, the, that, the tank? that robot. Yeah. Uh, and mine were red. As that's my color dude that's really cool okay so uh then 
Throwing star. Okay, targets dodger dexterity. He was walking. No multi-action penalty. No multi-target penalty. Let's see. An all-out attack requires what? Add plus four to melee or unarmed. Okay, so he's not doing melee or unarmed. He's throwing. Um, aimed requires a round. He's not doing a burst. Not doing a called shot. Okay, so roll it. Uh, action total of three versus a 14. How? He rolled a 16. That gets a bonus of three. I don't see anything in their skill value. They have oh, he. They're supposed to have uh, missile weapons. Why didn't they? Well, that ain't right. How are they going to have throwing stars if they don't have missile weapons? So, Dex is ten. That should be Just an eleven. Because you have something doesn't mean you have to be skilled in it. Well, but that's the thing. He's he he's showing up as unskilled. But that doesn't mean anything. He rolled a 16. That gives him a plus 3 plus the dexterity at the at a minimum. So that would be a minimum of 13. It would still be a miss. That's super weird. Okay, so anyway, regardless, uh, it's versus tar targets dodger dexterity. And, and even if it was a 14, he would miss. So there's that. Um, the question is, where does he miss at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need a D8. <laughs> because I am evil. Yes, I am. Okay, nope. The the ninja star. Uh, hang on a second. Whoa. The ninja star goes off this way and thucks into the desk right there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't have seen it anyway. It might have been a flash out of your right eye, but that's it. Okay, um, so then let's go with this ninja trying to make a, a electric katana attack and still using... Okay, walking. He did not run. Do do do. do. He could do an all-out attack because it's he is going to do an all-out attack because it's melee. Um, so he gets a plus four. He gets plus four to hit, but becomes um, very vulnerable afterwards until his next turn. So all-out attack. Okay, twelve. Uh, plus four. So that's only two shock. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's got... Uh, okay. All right. So he's got Key Strike, which he takes one shock. Okay, that's not a clickable item. So he takes one shock to increase the damage total by two. The damage total is 13 versus a 13 toughness. So now it's a 15 versus a 13 toughness, which doesn't, doesn't really give him anything more. It's still only going to be two shock. Okay, so that's all right. Uh, so shock, that's up to eight for her. Close, close. All right. Oh, get back up here. Who said you could go anywhere? And I'm going to untarget Nightbird. Um, let's see. This ninja. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's roll a d6 about something. No, at most it's going to be smoky from that point. All right, let's see. Dex of ten, so they can move pretty fast. Um, let me. Uh, vision. To do, to do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the the forces of evil are closing in on you. Yikes! Yeah, yikes. Okay, so since it is the the bad guy's turn and they don't get anything special, uh, peaches. This ninja. 
um, is going to approach. Wait a minute, didn't he come around? Oh, okay. Oh, that's the one that you had on you. He is going to approach and make an electric katana attack, um, including his key strike. He wants you out of the game, so he's going to take one there, and then uh, electric katana. He comes in after you, and he's doing an all-out attack. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. So, and he misses like a big dog, but guess what? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is good. Now, that's very vulnerable, right? Or mm -hmm. you or her. Well, he missed me, so he's vulnerable. So yes, that's he's vulnerable. Cool. And then for me. this ninja, I forgot to put the very vulnerable on that ninja. So, okay. Then, in that case, let me go ahead and remove that. All right, so... Um, I okay. I made a mistake at the beginning of the round. Um, so, oh wait a minute, that guy's done. So I need to get him out of the game. Well, all of these guys are done. They've moved. Okay, and then so Chris already acted. That means it's time for peaches. So, tis up to you. And this is before the flurry round. So everyone will get a, a second attack here in a minute. Um, but this is still the the uh, opening part of the flurry round. Peaches? Yes? Are you going to attack? Yes, definitely. Um, actually, um, I'm in a scream at him also don't you see the self-destruct countdown you idiot and attack okay are you going to try and do two things here uh no i'm not trying to trick or intimidate or willpower or anything okay um uh i don't even know if he speaks english probably not <laughs> but it is counting down in japanese and and, uh, and English. And English. So, uh, get the f out. It's <laughs> possibly, you know, universal. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Something like that. And then are you going to try and attack him, or are you going to try and run out of the building? Because you're right at the front door. Yeah, he's blocking my exit, isn't he? Um, No, he's kind of off to the side of the exit. I think he's waiting for an opportunity attack. Uh, to, to, to stab me in the back while I'm running? Probably. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dick move, dude. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he sounds like a winner. Uh, a real, um, what is it? Uh, 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 never mind. I'm not going to swear in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a children's show, folks. Anyway, so... <laughs> She's, uh, Even though we don't act like it, yeah, she's, she'll she will um, uh, see if she can't. Uh, what what are the? Let's see what's up here. Attack, and uh, her, yeah, she's going to uh, uh, attack him because he's vulnerable at this point. Okay, and um, depending on its success or failure. Uh, my hope is to uh, maneuver myself out the door. So maybe it's attack then maneuver, or attack and attack depending. Well, that that's that's a qu a good question for you. Uh, you could do a uh, a multi action. Um, the maneuver to get out the door is going to have a um, uh, a difficulty number. Right. Well, if we're flurried this round, that's that's what I'm stating I'm going to do next. Oh, okay. So you want to do the attack now and the the uh, the maneuver no, next? Yeah, depending on how it goes, because I might have to defend my defend myself again, or you know, do a coup de grace of some kind. So. Yeah, you're 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 going to have to go go ahead and try and make your attack, but uh, 
it's only a penalty of two for trying to do two things at once. Okay. So um, let's uh, blast him with a shotgun. Okay. Um, you're pretty much at point blank range. Give me a dex test. Just roll a regular dex? Just roll Just a regular do. dex. And, and you should see why in, in the shotgun itself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me look Dang. up the shotgun. Yeah, tell me about it. At ranges from 1 to 10 meters, a.k.a. point blank, the knight uh, may make a dexterity roll. A failure is worth two shock to the target, but grants the uh, grants them a plus two against the knight. A standard or good result allows for a standard two hit roll with bonus to be made plus one dice damage, and an outstanding success allows for an automatic hit and two bonus dice of damage. So you have a a good success, okay? Uh, and old ninja boy, let me let me get things out of the way here. Remember, he's stymied. He is, yes, he is also stymied, which was not taken into account. Why? Unless, let me open up the, let me open up this ninja's sheet. Okay, so, 10, 11, 8 is his, okay, toughness is 9. That should be 11. That was only taken into account for 1. So he is vulnerable, which means... Um, two more come off, so that's an eight. Um, so let's see, you got an 18, which is actually, see, that, that doesn't make any sense why that didn't go into account. Well, okay. it does, it's not for just straight to dex. I'm not actually against him at this point. Yeah, oh, that's my, right, that's right. This yeah. is just straight dex, okay? Yeah. But that's still, it, that's still a six. Okay, and you rolled an 18. Okay, so that's 12 above. So that is an outstanding success. Okay, um, you, Go standard, good, outstanding. Yeah, so outstanding means an automatic hit. Okay, so you have hit him. Um, the base damage on your uh, on your shotgun is 13. Roll two bonus dice, please. Two. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 versus his toughness, which is based on strength. So that's 11 with his. Okay, so you. Um, a coup de gras? Isn't that worth one more bonus die? Uh, yeah, you can throw in a coup de gras if you want to. Um, I, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say, though, this guy is probably done. I mean. Oh, if it is, then yeah. If, if not, I'll save it. Yeah, well, hold on. It's, yeah. um, let's see, it's 11 points above. So he's taken two wounds and four shock. He's done. Because he awesome. only has one wound. Two Good. Wounds and Ridden. Five. Now, I'm, I, now I'm bolting for the door. Okay, <laughs> and let me make sure I shut this guy down. Okay, that's that guy. That's that guy right there. He is dead, dead, dead ski. Okay. And then, and then it's it's an automatic it's an automatic thing because you've got the flurry around and you did so good with this guy. You have time to to get out that door, okay? Okay, good. So don't worry about rolling anything from that point. Um, sure. And I need to grab a card because that was successful. Yes, that was a very successful attack. That was good. I like that. Um, so. What am I doing? Uh, who's, whose line is it anyway? Come on, mm -hmm. scroll up there. Okay, so heroes get to flurry. So that means, uh, Chris, you can go up and grab the, uh, let's see, you've got 10 points for your standard movement. It'll take you three to get to the stick, maybe two to get the stick out, which will leave you with five more spaces that you can move, okay? Okay. Uh, Nightbird is, in the meantime, uh, well, she's going to have to be over here, going to do a multi-attack against against these fools. And let's see, what can I play? Second Wind, Glory, Adrenaline. She's probably going to play the Adrenaline for sure. That's in her pool. 
I'm just going to say that she's going to play her adrenaline. Okay, ahead of time. What is this? Vengeance is mine. Okay, there are no reality rated foes up here right now. So, um, so that's I'll, I'll deal with Ninja One and then Ninja Two, and that's going to be Electric Katana. Good. That that brought that up. Oop, I forgot to target that guy. Okay, now he's targeted. So, uh, 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 electric katana. Bleh. Sorry, folks. I am my skills have just decided to take up. Okay, targets two. Oh, come on, two. Um, she is also going to do an all-out attack because it's melee. And there we go. So, oh, oh, that sucked. That was terrible. So, modifiers, plus six. She still hit. She hit both of them. One wound and two shock each. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, 17, 16, 15. She hit. But it wasn't enough to give any bonus dice. So, um, okay. One wound. Ross would be proud. Three. <laughs> and then for yeah. this guy, uh, mm -hmm. I really don't like to use those. I could, but one wound and three shock. Or, no, sorry, that's just two shock. Okay, close. And let's see, who are these guys? Okay. Yep, that one is done. And who is this guy? That's that guy who's already done. This guy is now done. Okay. Now, um, that's really nice. That came out really good. Um, so, and she can still move. Okay. So she turns toward you, and you can hear her voice as she's turning. Which way do we go? Uh, you, you can go out if you want to and follow the green arrows. I'm kind of like depending on how much time we have left. <laughs> I think I might have to take the express route, and I nod towards the window. We don't have time. I will follow you. All right. Uh. Remember, she's do, got her me... basic suit on, her undersuit at least, so that should help. Uh, uh, do me a favor and break the glass then, but ahead of time, you know, make a give us a clear space while I'll check up on the download here. Is it done? The download is done. That's what I was saying. Uh, it only takes you three to get to the desk, two more points of movement to get the 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 uh, thumb drive. And then you've got five more points. Okay. Two, three, One, four, five, two, six, seven, eight, nine, three, um, five, six, ten. Oh, no, 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 no. You were, you were right here. Uh, okay. So uh, one, two, uh, three, three, two to pull the drive. And then you have then five spaces left. Only one, five. two, three, four, five. Sorry, I was one off. Okay. I realized when I said six, but then you can't just for you. Okay, now, thank you very much. Uh, I feel special. Uh, okay, so Nightbird, be, uh, she's only got her katana in her right hand, so she goes to try and pull. I think she's got a pistol. Uh, gear. No, she doesn't have a pistol. Um, okay, so let's let's wait a second. You asked her to break the glass. She says, I have nothing to break glass that thick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use telekinesis. Okay. Pick up this couch mm -hmm. through this window here. Okay, well, we'll see about that next round. Whole... Uh, no, I haven't done any actions yet. You just mo your flurry action was to go and get the thumb drive. Uh, yeah, okay, one. okay, okay. 
Okay. All right. And you didn't run, so there's no penalty for that. So try and use telekinesis. I'm going to say that's probably a no, unless you want to... I wait, to. standard success. <laughs> uh, it's a standard success, but it's also a possible disconnect. Okay, so you're using a social 23 skill um, in a... Let's see, where is it? In a social 24 area. You're good to go. You do not disconnect. Um, so, and it's my... Uh... And it's your social too, so you don't you don't have right. any disconnect. And my and the strength is my mind. So yep. So your mind is ten, I, right? Yeah, my mind is ten. So I think I could lift that couch hard enough to break that glass. I think. Okay, I so mean, this couch is in two sections. Okay, you have this section here. Okay, and then you have this section. Which section do you want? Probably this one, because it's one closer to you, I can get more of a wind up. Okay, that's true. That's true. Okay, so let me find out something. 